has, <laughs> has anyone read The Bell Jar? Okay, well, one of the poems that I'm not going to read tonight, do you guys remember the Negro part? The part where she kind of mentions the Negro for like two pages? Okay, so that's a whole nother issue and a whole nother poem for a whole different time. Um, and so this, I, and what I ended up doing was kind of roasting Plath by roasting her fangirls, which happened to be me when I was 16, 17. Um, and so this is kind of in the voice of that. Are you there, Plath? It's me, Kristen. <laughs> oh, you frigid New England diva of death. With your affected tea time voice hanging around like a nasty Boston winter. How exactly do I eat them? Men, I mean. Is this safe? Can I eat women too? Your kind of woman is a spreading jaw around the boy I liked in gym. I imagine eating him like snakes eat mice on TV. Yesterday, the pet constrictor in biology mistook my teacher's hand for a man. It clamped its mouth and wouldn't let go. The teacher stood there dumb and nobody ran for help. My man would be large like your Ted in my stomach. My body would stretch around him like a garbage bag. Sometimes I dream of baking my mother into a pie. Do you? What kind of fruit would you use? What temperature do I set the oven to? A group of us made a book club of you. We blew out our voices to sound like you. We were wondering if we could be your debutantes coming out in the season of our simmering self-hate. Our volcanic temp tempers only a mother could blame when we went off and found their good knives in their clean, clean kitchens. Can we come to your debutante ball in pristine beekeeping suits? Our fathers are big bastard bees who never raised their heads to see how we'd grown. Can you teach us how to make grief a swarm that stings? What did you think we'd do when you did dead like awkward performance art? We like awkward. What did you think we'd wish to make from easy bake ovens we'd outgrown? Did you think we'd know better? Oh, Sylvia, when your poems poured from blue tongue into our mouths, we took it like big-headed baby birds. Oh, how we wove your cynicism into our vocabulary to exhaust our underpaid English teachers. Oh, how we filled the weird wells of our journals to be as wounding and overreacting as those poppies in July. Oh, the possibilities of exclamation marks. Oh, our poor mothers, our poor, poor mothers who cringed when they saw you with your tight mummy mouth on the back of the bell jar that we tucked under our arms like cute leather clutches full of marked passages and margins that read so true and yes. Oh, you prim lady of gloom, you white crazy moon. We are an army of redcoats running for the tide who cry. We want to polish vicious. We want affairs that resemble birds in death spirals. We want our hurt star-shaped on the top of gaudy Christmas trees. We want duct tape on our windows. We want to name our crawl spaces after our mothers. We want parades, swollen paper mache cadaver floats to sit on top and wave like fucking mists. 
America to hold jars of pickled babies over our heads, chanting plath, 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 plath. Thank you.